Hey everyone, welcome back to Dead Mall Walking. Today I want to take a break from stores and talk briefly about the post-coronavirus performance of two of the biggest chain restaurants in the world, McDonald's and Burger King. Here in the UK, not all fast food restaurants are created equal. In the US, there are 13,000 McDonald's restaurants, 90% of which are franchises. In the UK, there are 1,300 McDonald's, of which 84% are franchises. KFC has 4,000 outlets in the US and 1,000 in the UK. Burger King has 8,000 restaurants in the US and just 500 here in the UK. In other words, there are more than twice as many KFCs in the UK as there are Burger Kings and three times as many McDonald's. You can see that reflected when you travel around the UK. Burger Kings are constrained mostly to highway service stations, city centres and airports whereas McDonald's and KFCs are scattered all over the place, seemingly at random. I visited a nearby McDonald's and a Burger King on the same day at the end of last week to see how they were performing. As you can see, McDonald's was eager to get back to business and had already opened up their drive through with a new limited menu. And demand was high. Really high. Burger King, on the other hand, showed no signs of reopening. Before the pandemic, Burger King had built some real momentum with the release of their Rebel Whopper, the UK's take on the Impossible Whopper. Looking at the difference between these two particular restaurants, it's difficult to believe that it will retain that momentum as things start to open back up. Companies including Debenhams and Laura Ashley and restaurants such as Carluccio's and Chiquito have already gone into administration here in the UK during the pandemic. You have to wonder whether Chainside Burger King might take this as an opportunity to kill off their more isolated branches like this one. If you hadn't already noticed, it doesn't even have a drive through window. It might be difficult for American viewers to imagine a world without Burger King, but here in the UK there are huge stretches of the country without one. This trip got me wondering whether their kingdom might soon be shrinking even further. Thanks for checking out the video, I hope to be back out on some more exciting adventures soon now that lockdown is easing. Please drop a like, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. My Instagram is linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.